Hello, my friends. Today we're continuing with the mini series from Luminar Neon. We will talk about the enhanced tool today. We'll start with this image over here. And if we go to edit, here is the enhanced tool. Click on it and then use accent. And this tool, as you can see, it messes out with the luminance, a little bit of clarity, some color boost. So I'm going to go all the way to 100 just so you can see it. And then if you do sky enhancement, it enhances the sky. Now, when I look at this image, I feel like it sharpens the sky a little bit too much, the enhanced tool. You see that? And I don't like my sky to be sharpened. Because naturally, sky should not be sharpened. If your focus is on this rock, then the sky would be blurry. Even if you use F16, F22, you know, whatever you use, it will still be blurry. So let's see, we'll do accent all the way and then we'll use a mask and we will erase this effect from the sky. I always like to edit my foreground and background separately. So now our edit is over here. We'll go back into tools and we'll do enhance and this time we'll do the sky enhancer. And now we've got a lot more natural um, edit. So this is the before and after. Now, if we want to take this one step further, we would go to toning and add a little bit of like oranges into the highlights to give it a little bit more that sunset look. In order to do this, I like to move the saturation all the way to 100 so I can see what colors I'm working with. And then I move the hue until I get the color I like. So let's go around here. And then I'll reduce the saturation back until it looks pleasant to the eye. So that's before and after. It just gives it that sun-kissed look. So that was our edit before and after. Let's do a different example. This time we will work with, let's work with this boat picture. And again, we'll go to edit, enhance, and accent. Like I said in all my previous tutorials, you will never want to go all the way to 100 or to the right or to the left. I'm only doing this so you can see better what is happening in the image. So you can see if I do sky enhancement, it's just too sharp. So I'll do it in separate layers as well. I am going to take the eraser and I'm going to erase this from the sky. All right, and now we only have the foreground. I also don't want these trees over here sharpened. I don't like what it does to them. All right, maybe like that. And now we'll exit the tool, go back into the tools, and we'll do the sky enhancer. Maybe I want to brighten a little bit this middle and add some more um, color to it. For that, we can go to, let's see. We can do something else. Well, instead of toning it, we'll go to color. And let's see, we'll saturate the oranges a little bit, a little bit of the yellows. We can go to the hue and move those yellows more towards orange, the orange more towards red, like that. And then the luminance, we can brighten the oranges a little bit, maybe. Maybe like that. And then we can even get the mask if we want and only paint this over here in the center. So let's see, this is our before and after, before and after. The whole image edit, this is the before and after, before and after. Excuse the background noise, my dog is chewing a bone under, the, under my chair. We will go to a different image, let's see, we'll do this one. And we'll go back to edit, enhance, accent. I went all the way to 100 and the sky became so bright. Everything became kind of sharp and crisp. So this time I will use a brush and I only want to paint this into my subject over here. All right. So now we have before and after, before and after. We'll exit the tools, we'll go back into the tools, and we'll go Enhance and Sky Enhancer. 
We may even want to go into relight. We did that tutorial just the other day. And we can darken the far. And then we can add a mask and erase it from our subject. Maybe from the foreground too. Let's see what that is there. There we go. So that was before and after. The whole image before and after. It just makes the subject pop. Gives it more color, more brightness, more um, sharpness. Let's see. Take another example. Maybe we'll do this one. We'll go to edit. We'll go enhance. Accent all the way to 100. And that makes really everything pop. Brightens and sharpens. But I'm going to work separately the subject from the background. I'm going to paint just on the car. And there you go. Now we only apply that accent to the car. And then let's see. Maybe I'll go back to the relight and just darken the far just to make the car pop a little bit. Uh, do I want it all the way? Almost all the way. And then I will mask it from the car, maybe the road around here. There you go, just like that. And let's see our picture before and after. Before and after. One last image, let's see. Maybe we'll go crazy with this one. We're going to edit a little bit crazy on this one. All right, so we'll go to edit. We will go to enhance and move it all the way to the right. That makes everything crunchy and bright. We can use a mask and we'll erase, erase it from the foreground so it doesn't get too crunchy here, the foliage. Then we can use some mystical. I like to use that on um, woodland photography. We'll just give it that looks more magical. Uh, maybe I even want to darken a little bit of the foreground. So we can go back to our relight. So the relight, we will want to darken a little bit in here. And we'll just paint it in over here. Let's see. That is our before and after. Just a little bit darker. Maybe we'll go even a little bit more. Before and after. This is the whole image edit. Before and after. Before and after. Maybe we want to do a little bit of color grading on this one too. So we'll go to toning and We'll choose the highlights, saturation to 100. We'll choose a nice golden tone, reduce the saturation. And then we can choose the shadows, increase the saturation, choose a, like a green, blue, something like that. We'll reduce the saturation. So let's see the color toning before and after. Before, very subtle. This is our whole edit before and after, before and after. A little bit more magical. We can add some atmosphere if we want. We can add a little bit of fog. And there you have it. Now we have before and after. And this is how I would use Enhance AI and Luminar Neo. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed to this channel and would like to see future videos, please do subscribe so you won't miss them. My name is Skylar Ewing and I will see you in my next video.